Okay. If I had to only trade one model for the rest of my life, knowing everything that I've given out publicly, if I had to just choose one of them, it would be the second stage distribution of a market maker sell model or second stage reaccumulation of a market maker buy model. And I could make as much money as I ever want and never need to do anything else, look at anything else, and I'd be quite content with that. Okay, so an MMXM or a 2022, essentially, right? Like the, okay. I mean, yes, that, that's what you're saying. I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably, dis, that'll, I'll, I'll replace October's model. I'll just teach that one. I'll, I'll teach it as if this is the model. If I was never teaching anything else and this was the line in the sand said, I'm never going to teach anything new and nothing new in the books would ever be revealed or nothing like that. If it was just what I've released up until right now today, October 7th, 2023. All of you know my market maker models, okay? It's not like golf. It's, it's very specific elements that are part of the buy side of the curve and the sell side of the curve. And they're directly relinked to both sides. They both have a relationship with one another. It's not support and resistance. It's a logic of order flow. On, the, on a market maker sell model, I would be aiming for a pool of liquidity below the original consolidation to their sell side down here. I'm gonna wait for a reversal. And I'm gonna wait for it to sell off and create another opportunity to sell off, but at least pierce 50% of from the smart money reversal down to the sell side liquidity. It has to drop at least 50%. If it drops 50% of that and then starts to rally again, I'm gonna key that up with the other side of the curve where the market was rallying up before it reversed. I'm going to pair it up with something over there as a PD array that was bullish on that side, but now it's going to act as a inversion level. A lot of my charter members are going to have light bulb moments here listening to this. And that short is the second stage distribution or redistribution rather. And it's going to run quickly, the biggest powerful run right into the sell side. So what I'm waiting for is a unicorn setup where I'm waiting for the best of the best. Everything's in motion. I got everything on my side. Everything is in play for it to be there. And now I'm going to risk 5% on that trade. Oh boy, that's some sauce, <laughs> dear sir. And are, so, so you're saying the October model is th this? Yeah, I'll, is I'll teach that one. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you heard that. That's So the reaccumulation and sell side drives down to 50% and then you pair it up with another PD array and, and you take it on the reversal. I think that's what I heard. Okay, I'll, I'll... Imagine, imagine a market maker sell model where you have a consolidation and relative equal lows are formed and it starts to rally up. It rallies up, it creates a little consolidation. You might classically see that as a bull flag or a small pennant. And then it rallies out of that and maybe not all of not all the time but sometimes it'll create a second stage of reaccumulation trading up to a premium array a level that i think is a draw on liquidity if i was bullish i would reach for that i don't necessarily have to be there for that time of the trade i might identify something at a later time say oh i, I wasn't trading i didn't see that there but now i see this it's reacting off of a level that should offer sell side so you know with sell side delivery the market should drop down so I'm anticipating price reacting and reversing at the smart money reversal. Once it starts to break down, if it goes back up a little bit, that's the smart money, I'm sorry, smart money reversal, low risk sell is the next stage, and then the drop. Then you get two points of redistribution where it sells off. The second one, which many times can look like the third, the second one after when you get the low risk sell, that low risk sell, when it drops down, its drop has to be at least 50% from the smart money reversal to where the sell side you're aiming for is. As long as it does that, then I will trust that the next rally is gonna go right into a premium array 
on the left side of the curve before it went up to make the high and reversed. And I know some of this is going to be very confusing for some of you that don't know what I'm talking about, but I promise you it's extremely simple. But the caveat is the first sell off needs to go down 50% of the total range before you get to the sell side. Once that occurs, I know because if you remember in the in the core content when I'm teaching market makers sell models and buy models, I give instances where that market maker buy model can fail to go to its target. Much like a market maker sell model can fail to go to its pool of liquidity. Why would it do that? Because it's part of a larger continuation. So when and how would I determine when it's going to fail? That first leg of redistribution on the sell side, if it doesn't pierce 50% of that range from the smart money reversal down to the uh, sell side liquidity, if it doesn't do that, then it's not going to go down there. It's going to be a continuation and reversal and go the other way. So I literally just gave you something that even charter members don't know. And some of you don't know what I mean by that, and that's okay. <laughs> but you'll learn it this month before I close the month out. Oh boy, if Zussi's listening, I know he would say, sauce. <laughs> it's a universal model too, so it works on all time frames. It's not limited to any one particular time frame. I love that. I love that. I love that we get a couple trading specific kind of gems 